Within Bitwig 6, we now have a section here for the key signature of our song, as we can see. And clicking once, we can choose the root note. And then over to the right, we can choose from 23 different scales. Now we can see we have these little circles here which represent a one octave on our keyboard. So if I were to click on C, we can see that that updates to reflect the change. And this little hollow circle, if you can make that out, that represents our root note. And the other notes are going to change depending on the scale, as well as changing the root note. You can see that displayed and changing as I select the different scales. Now let's go ahead and play back our little track here. And I'm going to go ahead and make some changes. But we're not hearing any change, particularly to the melody of this song. So let's go ahead and stop playback. I'll press the space bar. And let's come to the device panel for this track. And let's come before our instrument here. Click on the plus. And then we can see in the center area, we now have a new key filter plus. So let's go ahead and double click on that. And I'm going to go ahead and play our track back again. Okay, so we can hear that this one note has changed here. But it's not following along with what we have there. So with our key filter, we can now click on this button. And now, when we make our changes, Okay, now this particular melody or this track is then following along. Because we selected this button here, it's going to follow along with the changes that we make to our global key signature. So when we disengage this button here to follow the global key, then we're going to make use of the local key signature here, so C major. And again, we have that one octave uh, keyboard range that's showing which notes are in this. If I were to change this to major pentatonic, then we can see that those adjust to reflect that change. But let's go ahead and click to follow the global key. And the reason why it's now following the key that we select up above is because by default this is going to be set to constrain. So this is going to constrain the notes within our melody on this track here to the global scale here. If I were to select filter, we're then going to filter out notes that are not within our global scale. Again, we have this Follow the global key engage. Let's play this back. Okay, so everything that is not within this C major triad is being filtered out. Let's change the root note. Okay, we'll go ahead and stop playback. Now we also have keep available. And if we select keep, it's going to keep the original pitches that are being played here. Now we also have solo. And let's go ahead and change So now we're only going to play back notes that are outside of our global key signature here, or our scale. Now let's come back to our constraint mode, which is again going to adjust our notes that are being played to fit in or be constrained or quantized to our current key signature globally. And Bitwig is going to do its best to perform this action in an intelligent way, but we do have a couple of different options for how this is going to behave. So let's click on the eye to open up our inspector, and then we can see we have Smart Constrain. This is going to be engaged by default. But we have a couple of different options here. So we have Quantize Up. If I select that, then it's going to move the notes that are not in the scale up to fit in the scale. We then have Quantize Down, which is going to do the opposite action. Let's go back to Quantize Up. 
and then the default smart constraint. Now, finally, within our Key Filter Plus device, we have Mode Shift. And this will allow us to shift the notes that are specifically in our selected scale up above, up or down. So let's go ahead again and play back. I'm just going to left click, hold and drag up. So again, we're specifically adjusting the notes that are within our selected scale. Let's come down. Okay, so I hope that makes sense how that feature works there. Now let's come to our track and double click on one of these clips here. And within the editor panel, we now have a new options button in the bottom right hand corner here. So let's go ahead and click on that. And we can see we have a section for key signature. Now we can snap our notes to the particular key that we have set. So we can just click once or we can press the shortcut key of K. So I'll go ahead and click once. We can now see we have these horizontal blue lines, and this represents whatever we have chosen up top here. So let's go ahead and change this to F. We can see that those are just down below. Let's change this to harmonic minor. So we can see that everything, every pitch or note that has a horizontal blue line is going to be within our F harmonic minor. Anything that is outside of that scale is going to have this kind of grayed out these lines through it, showing us that it's not within that scale. Now, if I were to select one of these notes and then left click hold and drag, notice it's bypassing this particular note, these two actually, that are not within our scale. So I'll drag down, that one is in our scale, and it's skipping over this one because it is not. And this makes sense with, because we can see that this one is grayed out. Now, while this is selected, I can also use the up and down arrow. And when using the up and down arrows, it's also going to skip over any notes that are not within our scale. So we can see this one. This is grayed out. And then if I arrow up, we totally skip over that one. Now, if you'd like to have a clear idea of which particular pitches or notes are in our scale uh, and see something different than these thinner blue lines, we can again come to our options menu for the editor panel, come to that key signature section and then we have note background which is going to be on piano pattern by default we can see that light uh, light gray and black representing the pitches but then we can come to ad adapt to key and now we can see a bit more clearly the particular notes that are in the scale that we have selected up above so again we'll come and let's change this to d and dorian now we can see that these are update and this is just a bit more clear as to what's going on with our current key signature. And of course, we can see any notes that are not within these blue areas are going to have this grayed out look. Now, to finish up, let's hop over to a different song here, because I just want to mention that we, besides our Key Filter Plus, which we've already taken a look at, we do have five other devices that have the ability to take note of our global key and what it's set to. So we can see that similar button that's on our key filter plus. So we can engage this to make these follow along, pay attention to our global key signature. So that's going to be for our arpeggiator, our echo, the multi note device, the note transpose, and our randomize. Okay, so this has been a look at the new global key signature feature in Bitwig 6. I hope this has been helpful, and I will see you in the next tutorial.